Well, hello, my grandkids. It's time for another story from Grandma's Library. And as you can see, around the room, it's Christmas time. And so I have some books I'm going to read to you all about Christmas. These are books that I read to your parents when they were growing up. Some will probably remember them more than others, which is how it always will be on Grandma's Library. But the very first one that I'm going to read is the one I remember reading the most for all of my kids when they were small, and we really loved this book. It's called Noel. So Noel is a great story, and we're going to hear about it all together. So let's begin. Of all the Christmas tree ornaments made that year so very long ago, only one had a happiness. The ornament was round, red, and shiny, and his name was Noel. Now, at the very moment Noel was created, old Herman, the glass blower, received some wonderful news. His only daughter had just given birth to a baby girl. Old Herman was a grandpa at last, and he cried for pure joy. It was Noel's good fortune that one of those tears of joy bounced off Herman's puffed cheek, trickled down his glass blower's pipe, and fell with a tinkling sound inside Noel. It became the small ornament's happiness. My name is Noel, and I have a happiness, shouted the magical little ornament. Noel was placed in a cardboard box with 11 other ornaments, and all of them together were called a thing called a dozen. They were taken to a store where they became a thing called for sale. Noel was quite excited, but the other ornaments were bored and sleepy. You see, none of the others had a happiness. The dozen were purchased by a people thing called a mother. The mother thing was accompanied by three smaller, pretty things called children. I like children things the best, cried Noel. They are little, noisy, and happy like me. The other ornaments just grumbled. The mother thing took the dozen to a beautiful old house where she and her three little children lived with a father thing. Everybody inside, she said merrily. For tonight is Christmas Eve, and there is lots to do. Later that night, after the children things went to sleep, Noel and the dozen were hung on the branches of a Christmas tree named Brutus. Tiny glowing lights known as the Mazda Sisters and bright strands of silver known as the Tinsel Clan twinkled all about them. Around the base of the tree, the father thing set up a toy electric train named McIves. It chugged its Christmas message, season's greetings, season's greetings. And then a special space was made for one final mysterious thing that was placed lovingly under Brutus by the mother thing. What's that down there, Brutus? Noel asked the huge tree who had become his friend. I can't see inside. It's a little toy stable, answered Brutus. But why would they have a toy stable? Noel wanted to know. Well, Noel, somehow that little stable is what tonight is all about. The next day, it was a magnificent thing called Christmas. There were toys and there was laughter. Presents were exchanged and there was more laughter. Grandpa and Grandma things visited, and there was even more laughter. Oh, it was a wonderful time that went on for seven whole days and nights. But then it became a terrible thing called January. January 2nd, the back to normal thing. Noel and all the other things that made Christmas magic were packed back in their boxes, and Brutus was hauled outside. Goodbye, little fellow. Goodbye, the tree called to Noel. Keep that happiness of yours. Never lose it. 
Noel and the other things were put into a high, dusty, dark thing called an attic where time passed very slowly. Outside the house, it became things called springtime and summer and autumn. Then came the first snowfall and then finally, hey, it's back again. The good thing, the wonderful, beautiful, Christmasful thing, cried Noel. There was a new tree, but everything else was the same as the year before. The mother and father things, the children things, the lights, the toys, old MacIves, and of course, the mysterious toy stable. But soon Christmas was over and the attic thing was Noel's prison once more. In this way, year followed year, a bittersweet blend of joy and a dusty attic. And as the years passed, the children th things grew up and the mother and father things grew old. And then one day the father thing said, ah, uh, let's not bother with a tree this year. There would be no more Christmases. The nice old house empty now and falling into disrepair had only the memories of holidays long ago. Noel and the rest of the dozen were left in the attic to become faded and chipped and a thing called forgotten. Could everything be over? A new family moved in. The new father thing painted and repaired the house. It looked just the way it had years before. It was ready for the holidays again. Nothing is ever truly over when one has a happiness, and so on Christmas Eve, the new mother thing found the old decorations in the attic and hung Noel on the tree. But Noel had grown so weak, his once sturdy hook could no longer support him. Suddenly, it gave way. <gasps> Poor Noel fell to the floor and was smashed. Even though Noel's body was broken into a hundred pieces, he was still aware, and from his position on the floor, he could see into the little toy stable for the first time. Why, there are little toy people things, he said, and a little toy child thing. And then there was a thing called the miracle. For now, that Noel's glass body was gone, his happiness, the thing that really was Noel, was released. Like a merry little comet, it rose from the floor, bounced around the room, then flew up through the chimney and into the Christmas dawn. My name is Noel, and I have a, no, I am happiness, he shouted. Noel raced the Christmas dawn around the world he visited houses of every size and description, and each had its own set of people and Christmas things. Some spoke different languages and had different ways of life. Indeed, some had never even heard of Christmas. Who cares, shouted Noel. I've got enough happiness for everybody. For wonder of wonders, little Noel had become the pure joy of Christmas, and he would live on forever in the hearts of all mankind. Merry Christmas, shouted Noel. Merry Christmas. And that's the end of the story. So Noel got to finally see that small stable. The whole reason for Christmas, he saw Jesus and he became so happy and everything was good and it was wonderful and Christmas has kept on living on and that's the way it gets to work for us too. Christmases keep happening, don't they? Every year. So that's the end of our Noel story. Tune in again and I'll have another Christmas story for you. Bye-bye.